Ping's cadence range of putters are new for 2015. The whole story around cadence is fitting the putter to your stroke and tempo. Ping, through their research, have identified your tempo is either mid to fast or slow. And to suit those two different types of tempo, they've introduced two weights of putter. First, there's a the traditional weight putter, which is signified by the blue insert and blue grip. This is made of aluminium and it will help you if you've got a mid to fast tempo. And typically, you'd want a bit of extra help on making long lag putts closer to the hole. There's a heavier weight insert as well, and this is black and a black grip as well. Depending on the model, that's 20 to 30 grams heavier than the traditional weight. And this will really help if you've got a slow tempo or that you want help holding out those tricky short putts. One thing that's common with both weights is the TR grooves. We first saw that technology uh, introduced with the Scottsdale TR range last year. Now TR stands for true roll, and the technology here really looks at wherever you hit the ball across the putter face, the TR grooves are gonna give you a consistent distance. It's been particularly popular with the guys on tour, especially when it comes to long lag putting. The consistency that the TR grooves gives them, whether they hit right out of the middle of the putter face or slightly out of the heel and toe, has given them really consistent results. So how do you determine what sort of tempo you have in your golf stroke? Well, you can do that very simply by using the free iPing app. All the Ping stockists who sell Ping putters have the iPing app and are able to help you with your measurement. But if you've got an iPhone uh, and you buy yourself a cradle, you can try this out for yourself. You just need to hit five putts from 10 foot and the software does it all for you. If you've got a tempo reading of 2.2 or above, then you're a slow tempo. And between 2.2 and 1.8, that's a bit of a grey area and really then it would come down to personal preference of whether you like a heavier or a more traditional weight in your putter. The other thing that iPing is able to measure is what type of arc you've got. So whether you take the putter head back and forward straight, whether you have a slight arc or indeed a strong arc. Now my readings came out that my tempo was right in that grey area and that I needed a, a putter with a strong arc. So armed with that information, you're then able to work with your golf retailer with your PGA Pro to find that putter that will really suit your game. There are eight models in the Cadence range for 2015, including four completely new designs from Ping. There's an Ansa W, a Tomcat C, a B65, and this really interesting mid mallet called the Rustler. All are available in both the heavy and the traditional weight, uh, all again to fit all the different types of stroke, and that's achieved through different shaft bends. And again, there's an adjustable option on all of the putters. There's also within the range a counterbalance model. It's only available in the traditional head weight, but it's a really interesting concept. If you need to keep your hands out of the stroke, then counterbalancing can really help with that. So I've had a good hour here on the putting green at Luminae trying out all the Ping Cadence models. And um, interestingly, I found two different heads really were probably the best, best for me. At the moment, I use a Ping Scottsdale TR answer, so it was no real surprise that I really like the answer head in the cadence range, and I really like there the traditional weight. It's probably very, very similar feel uh, to my current putter. I was holding some good long putts and some good lag putting as well. Interestingly, if I probably have an Achilles heel, it, it is short putts. It's consistently holding out from five foot and in. And for that, I really like the Rustler with the heavier weight insert in the face. Uh, that really gave me a lot of uh, confidence on those shorter putts. So I think a lot will come down to your personal preference. Get that input from iPing in terms of what your stroke is and also your tempo, and then work with your PGA professional to find out what is the putter that's gonna help you hold more putts this season.